Hello. So I've been promising to get into the weeds uh, with this for a few videos. Now we're in the weeds. Uh, so what we're going to talk about is the Z axis. Um, so if you know about, if you've done any 3D animation, X is left to right, Y is up and down, and Z is front to back. Um, so that's sort of the idea of the sequencer. <coughs> you can also think of it as like it has stored states. Um, so for example, it has 60, just think of this as like 64 different sequences you can have. Um, so this isn't just like what you're limited to on the front panel here, where it's like one 16 step sequence. Um, you can have 64 of those and have them all run together, and there's like different ways to go from one to the other. Um, we're going to start with manual stuff because, you know, if you see me pushing a button, it tends to make more sense. Um, so what, what I've done is we have our sequence here. Okay, and it's like, you know, extremely inspiring. <laughs> uh, let's just add some glide here and there. Okay. Okay, so that's our basic sequence, right? And, you know, the big complaint about Eurorack is, like, people get stuck in these boxes of their sequencers um, where it's sort of like 16 steps and we're going for the next five minutes. Um, so what the sequencer does is let you have access to, like, a lot of different banks. Um, so if you push left and right these arrows together, you see the display changes. And I've got a slow flashing Y. Um, so we're going to talk about the green bank today. This is the Y bank. And this is called the select state page. Um, and what this means is, you see we have a bank of 16 sequences. Um, so I've uh, programmed a few here. So here's one. There's my second one. Variation. And a third one. fourth one, and a fifth one that I haven't really programmed yet, but, you know, we could push left and right, go back, and program something very quickly. You see, this kind of gives you quick access to make sequences manually. Um, there is a way to sort of copy-paste and make more variations, which we will talk about in the next video. Um, but for now, you know, just think of this like we have 16 really easy to access. And then if we push the Y button again, you see it flashes faster. And here's our four banks. So we have four banks of 16 sequences, which gives us 64 different choices. Um, <clears throat> if this light is blue, we're on the first bank. You see I choose the second bank and we're orange. Third bank, red light. Fourth bank, green light. And these are, you know, totally different banks of sequences. If I push the Y, we're back here. Okay, so this is like kind of choose your own adventure a little bit. Um, something to know. We have our Z mod input and our Z CV. Um, <clears throat> so these are ways to automate going between sequences. Um, something important to know is unless... It only works on this page unless you've made a change, which we're going to talk about two videos from now um, in the global settings. You can get it so that the program change or sequence change in the Zmod kind of triggers no matter what page you're on. <coughs> the way it works is Zmod, um, if it gets a gate, it changes programs. <laughs> You see, you know, as my sequence here flashes, it's just going to page up. <laughs> okay. Now, something else to know is we can disable this. Um, we can disable, sorry, we can disable certain pages. So if I push left arrow and a button, it goes blank. Um, something to know about that is these are absolute, so you can have, like, dead space here too. Um, so for, you know, and left arrow, touch it, turns it back on. So it's, this is on off switch basically. Uh, so something to know about that is, you know, I've got my third sequence here off. 
and I'm going to plug my gate into Zmod, and it's, every time that gate flashes, it's going to change the sequence. <laughs> okay, so we can skip pages there. Um, I think from a ZCV perspective, this is an absolute voltage. Uh, so if you're using the CV, because ZMod works off of gates, ZCV works off of voltage, so you turn a knob and you can page through your sequences um, using voltage control. Um, so the manual says this can be like a dead space if you hit that voltage on a knob from ZCV and it, you know, it's going to um, just go silent. Um, so something to be aware of. Uh, so I hope this gives you some ideas. You know, this is a very powerful sequencer, obviously, because now we we don't have one program that we're just running ad nauseum. We are, you know, we have 64 variations. We can skip pages. We can jump around. Um, and it gives you a lot of uh, variation and control. Uh, so I hope you learned something. And we'll talk about the uh, mpaste function next.